Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry appeared in a fun new clip on friend James Corden's The Late Late Show on Thursday evening, and we learned lots of new things about his family life with wife the Duchess of Sussex and son Archie. Prince Harry and fellow British James drank tea and ate scones as they toured Los Angeles on a double-decker bus and as the pair chatted about the prince's new life in Los Angeles. They even got Meghan on the phone during the segment, too. Harry opened up about everything, from his personal gifts from the Queen to all the new things he's been doing in America, here's what we found out from the chat. The Queen gave Archie a waffle maker for Christmas. Prince Harry told James, Interestingly, my grandmother asked us what Archie wanted for Christmas and Meghan said a waffle maker. She sent us a waffle maker for Archie, so breakfast now, Meghan and makes up a beautiful organic mix in the waffle maker, flip it, out it comes, he loves it. Archie literally wakes up in the morning and says waffle. Archie loves to sing. He told James when asked about fatherhood. My son is now over a year and a half. He is hysterical. He's got the most amazing personality. He's already putting two, three words together. He's already singing songs. Archie's first word. Harry proudly told James. His first word was crocodile, three syllables. Prince Harry has never been on an open top bus before. When James pulled up to pick up Harry in the double decker, Harry quickly quipped, this is subtle, where's the Range Rover? Later he added, this is very nice. It's the first time I've been on an open top bus, not really allowed to. In London, I always see them cruising around with tourists and thought that would be really good fun because when you live in an area, you never actually go sightseeing. I've always wanted to go sightseeing. Prince Harry has never been sightseeing in Los Angeles. James asked, have you spent much time over in this part of Los Angeles, where we are now since you moved here? Harry replied, no, it's been locked down. This is the first time I've had a chance to see Los Angeles. Prince Harry takes his tea with milk and sugar. The pair enjoyed some British treats as they toured on the double-decker, with James asking Harry, can I interest you in tea? A little milk and sugar. He replied, confirming he likes a splash of milk. Yeah, put it all in. Prince Harry doesn't carry cash as a royal. When James joked that Harry need to pay his fare before getting on the bush, Harry quickly replied, you know us royals, we don't carry cash. Prince Harry is fighting fit. Towards the end of the video, James arranges for the pair to take part in a military fitness challenge, and Prince Harry gets stuck in doing a mud crawl, speedily mastering a rope climb and a number of other impressive obstacles. Wow. Prince Harry knows the fresh Prince of Bel-Air lyrics. James and Harry's outing included a visit to the house used in the fresh Prince of Bel-Air for a quick a bathroom break, and the prince impressed by rapping the first verse of the famous theme tune. Meghan's nickname for Harry is has. During a FaceTime call with the Duchess, James tried to convince her that they should purchase the mansion. James tells Meghan, at one point, you'd be the fresh princess of Bel Air. That's wonderful, I think we've done enough moving. She replied, before asking her husband, has, how's your tour of Los Angeles going? A surprise James replied, has, I didn't know we were calling you that, to which Harry cheekily responds, well, you're not my wife. Prince Harry's nickname for Meghan is, Meg. The royal sweetly referred to his wife as Meg during the interview. The couple loved to Zoom with the Queen and Prince Philip. He said, Both my grandparents do know how to use Zoom. We've Zoomed a few times, they've seen Archie running around, but my grandfather, instead of pressing leave meeting, he just goes gestures to closing laptop. Prince Harry fell for Meghan on their second date. James asked, When did you know that Meghan was the one? He said, the second date, I was starting to think wow this is pretty special. The way we hit it off with each other, we were just so comfortable in each other's company. Prince Harry opened up about dating as a royal. He said, dating with me or with any member of the royal family, I guess, is kind of flipped upside down. All the dates become dinners or watching the TV or chatting at home. And then eventually once you become a couple, then you venture out to dinners or the cinema and everything else. So everything was done back to front with us. We got to spend an enormous amount of time just the two of us, 
rather than going to friends' houses or out for dinner, where there were other distractions. There were no distractions, and that was an amazing thing. We went from zero to 60 in the first two months. Archie's bedtime routine. Harry told James, we do Archie's tea, give him a bath, rate him a book, put him down. The couple watched Jeopardy. Speaking of an average night for himself and wife Megan, Harry said, Meg might cook a meal, we might order a takeaway, go upstairs, sit in bed, turn the TV on, watch some Jeopardy, maybe watch a little bit of Netflix. Prince Harry thinks the crown is loosely based on the truth. He said, it's fictional, but it's loosely based on the truth. Of course, it's not strictly accurate, but loosely, it gives you a rough idea about that lifestyle and what the pressures of putting duty and service above family and everything else, what can come from that? Prince Harry would love Damien Lewis to play him in The Crown. The royal corrected himself. Daniel Lewis. Damien Lewis. James then joked, I think Damien Lewis as you and me as William, that's casting. Harry quipped, it's not great casting, but it is casting. Another analysis. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's next child will be considered a rainbow baby. After the worst storms, sometimes you can find a rainbow. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, have had a tumultuous year. In January, they shocked fans by announcing their intention to step back as senior royals and forge a new path with their lives. Ever since, they've been making headlines for their many groundbreaking choices. Most recently, Meghan wrote a deeply personal opus ed for the New York Times titled, The Losses We Share. The essay detailed how she experienced a miscarriage during the summer, which is typically more information than members of the royal family share with the public. This tragic event will forever shape Meghan and Harry's future. However, if they choose to expand their family again, that child will be called a rainbow baby. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle won't have more than two children. They're notorious for keeping some details of their lives private. But Prince Harry did confirm during a meeting with conservationist Jane Goodall that he and Meghan were not planning on having a big family. This is due in part to their concern for the strain on the environment. While discussing the terrifying state of the world, Prince Harry discussed how his perspective shifted after having children. Prince Harry said, I've always had a connection and a love for nature. I view it differently now, without question but I've always wanted to try and ensure that, even before having a child and hoping to have children. Not to many, Dr. Goodall interjected, and Prince Harry confirmed. Two, maximum. Meghan Markle was pregnant with her second baby during the summer. The royal couple welcomed son Archie Harrison in May 2019, after keeping the public in the dark on details, which caused plenty of controversy as well. Ever since his birth, royal followers have been speculating over when and if the Sussexes were planning on having another child. They got their answer in late November 2020. The New York Times piece described Meghan's miscarriage experience in haunting detail. And Meghan shared her story in hopes of normalizing the common experience of miscarriage and providing hope for other mothers who experience it. The royal couple's next child will be a rainbow baby. Meghan didn't mention in her essay whether she and Prince Harry plan to try for another baby in the future. But if they do, that child will be known as a rainbow baby, according to other moms who have experienced miscarriage. The term rainbow baby refers to how a rainbow occurs in the sky after a storm or a difficult time of life. It's a symbol of hope for the future. So if the Sussexes add another child to their family as a sibling for Archie, that baby will be called a rainbow baby. Nothing can replace what they lost. But after the storm passes, there may just be a rainbow. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.